Subtraction of real numbers, positive from a positive number. So what we're going to do here is let's, uh, let's give an example here. Let's do five minus three. So I know you might be saying, wow, this is a little basic, right? We're just dealing with subtraction of numbers. Well, it's really important for us to, one, have a clear understanding of our subtraction of numbers, and two, also to have this skill so down pat that from here on out, it's not gonna be a problem with us. So there are gonna be some probably subtraction of numbers that we are gonna get caught up on that I wanna make sure that um, I have at least a basic understanding of it so that you can be able to figure out how to do the problem or figure out at least how to solve it on your own when you come up to a uh, little impasse. So I'm gonna use the number line here to represent how to do subtraction of a positive, and positive numbers. So here we have a number line, and number line, we're just going to represent our two numbers, five, negative one, negative two, negative three. Okay, so remember, our numbers can represent you know, our distance from zero. So here, I'm gonna have a distance of five. And then, I also have now a distance of three. Okay, so what I'm going to do though is out from my distance of five, I'm now going to subtract. And remember when we were talking about subtraction, we're gonna subtract, take away distance three. Well, I'm not gonna to wanna to take away the distance three back from zero. What I'm gonna do is I wanna take away the distance from five. So from here, I go all the way to five, and then I'm gonna subtract three, which would be one, two, three units. So now by going back three units, you can see I have now ended up on two. So five minus three is going to be equal to two. And one last way, I just wanna make sure I can go through this, because um, we did talk about that using the additive inverses. One thing we can always change our subtraction problem to, and this is one thing that I always uh, tell my students to, you know, if they're having trouble with their subtraction, if we change this to an addition problem, by using the additive inverses, I can change this now to five plus negative three. And so you notice that the distance of negative three is again going back in this direction. So still, if I take five and I add it to a distance of going to the left three units, which is exactly what we're doing, if I go left three units, it's still gonna take us to two. So there's just two different ways for you to look at five minus three or five plus negative three is going to result in 